commentary, entertainment, sports, news, and opinion. Now, here is Steve Malsberg. All right, folks, it's not often uh, you have a man who could explain the whole economy to you uh, in such simplistic terms. Uh, Dr. Casey Mulligan, professor of economics at the University of Chicago. Welcome. Great to see you. Thank you, sir. And congratulations, because tonight you're getting a very prestigious award, the 2014 F.A. Hayek uh, Prize. Um, e explain what that, uh, the significance of that. Well, Hayek maybe is one of the best economists ever, so to, to be mentioned in the same sentence with him is a great thrill for me. Well, good for you. Congratulations. And uh, I, I want to talk to you about uh, your book, The Redistribution Recession, How Labor Market Distortions uh, uh, Contracted the Economy. But I also first want to start with today's news about the GDP. Uh, which was revised, it was already a negative GDP, and it was revised even further uh, to the negative side. Um, explain that in layman's terms briefly, and, and does it mean much? Well, we, we were blaming it just on winter. Right. right. Now winter is, we owe winter an apology. There's something more fundamental there, um, and we'll see what that is. But I think Obamacare, if it's not this quarter, one of these quarters we're going to see the uh, economy shrinking effects of Obamacare. Obamacare is going to make our economy smaller. Maybe it already is doing it. Well, you, you wrote a great piece um, the other day uh, talking about the uh, the massive uh, massive tax increase hidden within Obamacare. You know, Obamacare is something that that's been off the pages, off the front pages, off the back pages because of Iraq and IRS and you name it, the VA scandal. So Obamacare, even from the mouths of the Republicans, has gone way to the back. Uh, but it's important that we keep it at, at the fore, especially uh, with what you write about. And why don't you talk about uh, uh, what some of the what, what the hidden tax uh, is and what it means? Yeah, you know, instead of kind of European style, of just saying, okay, we're going to pay for people's coverage and we're going to have a payroll tax to deal with that, the, the tax has got hidden. I guess it's a political strategy yeah. or something like that. Um, and one of the things they do is they, instead of sending a tax bill to people who work and earn, they just say, we're going to hold back your benefits. So this new law is going to have goodies unless you ha happen to work or you happen to earn. Right. So that's the nature of the hidden tax. All right. So, so I mean, the, the subsidy, you're talking about the subsidies. It, yeah. it was announced that uh, the subsidies are going to a lot of people. A lot of people are going to get Obamacare, call it for free or call it for almost for free. They're going to get help, and that comes at the expense of, of, of the rest of us, correct? And the rest of us can't get it even if we try because, because we work and because we earn. All right, so, so there again is uh, the de-incentive, de if you will, to work. Exactly. Which is what the Democrats, for the first time, and this goes back a few months, if you recall, I'm sure you do better than I, um, when, when they, they talked about the, uh, when the uh, CBO talked about how this will uh, um, decentivize, if you will, people from working, and people like Nancy Pelosi and others were saying, oh, this is great. Now they could stay home with their grandchildren. They could, you know, play guitar or whatever. First time I could ever recall, ever, People, elected officials saying, oh, it's good if you don't work. Where did that come from? I hope you saved those clips. Oh, <laughs> well, we have them. When we have a recession next quarter or a few quarters from now, play those back. I mean, that's, that's a great way to be run out of office during a recession to be saying to people, enjoy it. Uh, you, you can relax now that we're not having you work so hard. Well, let me, I was, you know, you talk about negative GDP and right away, you know, you, you, it leads you to think of the, the definition of recession. And I was going to ask you, but I didn't go there yet because it, you know, it, it, I don't, I didn't think we were going to be headed to consecutive, you know, many consecutive uh, negative uh, GDP reports. But you mentioned recession. Do, do you think we're in danger of a, a recession again soon? For sure. That because Obamacare is going to eventually make the economy smaller, I can't tell you when it's going to happen, but if you're going to go to a lower level, you have to go downhill for some period of time. So um, especially in the, in the labor measures, employment to population ratio, that type of measure has to go south of where it is. What do you advise Republicans to do? Uh, right now, they're, they're kind of powerless to do anything. They could pass bills in the House, as they have done, and people make fun. Oh, you're repealing Obamacare again. Ha, ha, ha. They, they, they voted to, to make tweaks to Obamacare as well as, as repeal it a couple of times, uh, but it never gets brought up uh, for anything in the Senate. So as long as we have the current structure, I guess there's not much to be done. Uh, but if the Republicans were to present a plan going forward, even just to run on in November, what would you suggest they say, if we had power, if we were running things, here's what we would do? Total repeal of Obamacare? I think a smoking's not popular anymore, but I take one of those Zippo lighters and uh, use it on Obamacare. That's a, that's a great start. It's, it's inexpensive um, because there's just so many problems in there. And then you want to start from square one. And 
and there are ways to improve the healthcare sector. Um, but we don't need to do it at the same time we do a massive redistribution toward people who aren't working and aren't earning. Yeah, all right, so, so you don't know, you, you're not predicting um, uh, this uh, recession uh, coming up in, a, in, in, in this year or next year, but you, you know if this goes forward, it's gonna happen. Yeah, you have to go downhill at some point. It's hard to say. We don't have the research to say exactly what month that's going to start. Your, your book, The Redistribution Recession, um, talks about uh, how subsidies that have been intended to help the poor and, and, and people who need the help, everything's been turned on its head. Everything's been turned upside down. It's all been redefined. Um, I mean, this is leading. Uh, just look at the statistics, disability statistics, unemployment, extended unemployment benefits, et cetera, job uh, force participation. Um, it, it's leading to a, a dependent society, is it not? For certainly is moving in, in that direction. And what's unusual and probably not good about these trends in the last couple of years, it's, it's among prime-aged people. It's not, for a long time, we had elderly people getting government assistance, not working, being retired. Um, that we've had that. But this is kind of new that to have, let's say, middle-aged people or working-aged people um, working for a government check instead of a paycheck. And, and people, you know, in their prime earning years, which um, I may have it wrong, but, uh, I, you know, in their 50s or for late 40s to 50s, I mean, that's like, you know, you're suppo in the old days, which weren't that long ago, you built up your career, and by that time, that's where your peak earning years were. And now you got people unemployed, either taking jobs that are paying much, much less, or just giving up. Right. I mean, how could an economy, how could our economy, our type of economy, survive that for long? Well, we could take a summer trip to France and get a, get a good feel for, for that. It's been done before. I don't see it as the American way, but it's been done before. You but, survive. But the but, alternative isn't good, right. is what you're saying. Take I'm a not trip moving to France, France anytime soon. Right, through, right, yeah. So, so, that, so that's what lies in, in our future. Do you see that this is Obama's plan? Do you think he knows he's heading us in this direction? Or this is all accidental and he really thinks it's going to turn around? Yeah, I've wondered that. I'm not an expert on not just economists. Opinion, yeah. I'm, just the, I'm an expert on the economy, not the economists. Right. Um, it could be that the politics has prevented them from allowing to look carefully at, at the truth, and therefore they kind of forgot about some of the fundamentals. Uh, I doubt it was intentional, but again, I don't know. For Doctor, sure. great to see you. Great Thank you very you. much. Even though the news wasn't great, Dr. Casey Mulligan, professor of economics at the University of Chicago, and uh, enjoy the award. Thanks for coming up. Uh, we'll be back with more of the Steve Malsberg Show. Ladies and gentlemen, our friend Charles Hurt will be here shortly. Don't go away.